Hey Durag, I found this game. It looks to be a fun tactical shooter. Maybe it could be, maybe it couldn't. I guess we'll find out. What's up everybody, do right back in it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about a game called Black One Blood Brothers. According to their Steam, Black One Blood Brothers is a single player sandbox tactical shooter inspired by the first Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon. Definitely seems like a game that's, you know, up our alleys, right? As of the timing of this recording, you can actually download it right now on Steam and check it out for yourself. This is a game that I actually wanted to talk about a lot earlier, but right when I was about to start making the video, they ended up dropping like a 13 gigabyte pack. So I'm just like, oh, son of a gun, what the heck did they add? Well, to be honest, I have no freaking clue because they didn't actually release a patch note or anything like that. It was just like a silent update, which has me a bit concerned. Because what if they like uploaded like some kind of virus to my freaking computer and I didn't even know it? A 13 gigabyte update? What the hell did they update? Well, it doesn't say and it doesn't look like they got a Discord or anything, so I have no idea. Looks like I'm gonna have to go to the game to see what's actually different and scrap my like 50 minute video that I did like a day earlier just to see what's different. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the brand new text that's at the bottom right here. It says, please keep in mind that this is a demonstration and not the commercial version. This is a pre-alpha version and that means you will see bugs. The game is still unpolished and non-optimized. Furthermore, the amount of content and features is limited. We also seem to have a release date? January 2022. That seems a bit soon to me. Like, there's no way they're going to be able to fix a lot of the stuff in there. I mean, I don't, again, I don't know, like, the size of the team here. This is, like, the first time that I'm actually hearing about uh helios helios productions or something like that yeah production okay but like january 2022 that seems like uh, a bit too soon for all the issues that i've seen but anyways let's go ahead and talk about the first thing here squad so the cool thing about this is that you could actually completely edit every single one of your squad mates. So you can edit you know your gender female or male and when i mean edit you can completely edit your guy like they have multiple faces here although it doesn't seem like they have a whole lot for the female just yet kind of like move your character up and down like that so that's kind of cool here's a skin color right here do eye color oh it's actually pretty in-depth a lot more in-depth than i thought Request immediate support. Throwing grenade. Ah. I'm not sure what that means. They seriously need to overhaul this UI because it's really freaking basic. Like, I can't even tell what most of this stuff is. Normal? Oh. So that's like the expression on their face, I assume? Where? Calm? Heroic? Serious? Why so serious? Marcus? Oh, this is a... You can name the character. Felicia. Bye, Felicia. And we got stances here. like a ridiculous amount of stances that you can do for this character oh god this gets into the issues of the game that i have with it so far we'll, we'll talk about that just a little bit later i just want to show off a lot of the stuff that's here clipping right there yeah it's clipping through our hand too now if we could just put some cool stuff on her oh that doesn't look like it's attached to the shoulders there those are some pants right there oh my god a full-on ghillie suit vest oh and you can change the colors Oh my god. The amount of customization is nuts in this game. Wish I could see it. You kind of see it, not really. Put the gun out of the way. Military boots. Can't change the color of those, unfortunately. Some gloves on her. I like these gloves. Long hair? I, mean, I guess that would work, right? A rock? Oh, these are hairstyles. I thought these were helmets. It's not at all what the picture looks like. I like the boonie hat. That looks pretty cool. Although she, she's fucking bald now. <laughs> nice then you could even add the loadout uh last time i forgot to bring the ammo yeah so this is a bit overwhelming uh i wish i would explain exactly what i need to bring so for some reason she didn't have mags oh there we go that's how you add them but yeah the customization in this game is freaking nuts like you could do this straight up with every single one of these characters here okay so now that we looked at that let's hop over to the training room just for a little bit just so we could talk about a couple of things and then we'll move into the gameplay so yes you can bring a shit ton of guys to one mission if you wanted to and for some reason one of them can actually carry a dog why the dog doesn't actually do anything it just stays like staple to the character that has him like i don't even know what the purpose of it even is to be honest obviously you could cycle through uh multiple stances if you just tap control see my weapon here down side up that way 
Tap, 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 tap. I don't know why it's like off to the side like that. It's a little weird. So the issue that I have with this game is just the gameplay itself. Like it feels very freaking stiff and sometimes it doesn't actually like work the way that I would like it to. Also, I really dislike it. They just like stapled on a freaking reticle site and just hoped you do, you know, go for the best. Like again, this is like a really early game, but for an early game, I actually have quite a bit here. One thing that I noticed about this is that you can actually pop up here. And like have a Congo line of dudes just following you. Like they either come through the door or hop over the freaking obstacle. Although it is a little finicky at the moment. One thing that I do want to know is like if you can actually like order them to do things. Because as far as I can tell there isn't any controls to tell them what to do. Here in the training room they're obviously just following me. But I'm not sure how to actually tell them to like do things. Like hide behind that cover or tie someone up or something like that. But I could switch to them. I wanted to see on this guy now this is my character felicia that i created why am i sideways like that is there a reason why i'm like that oh did i fix it wait okay so alt i can like move my head around obviously like the gameplay is the issue that i have with this ga uh, game so far it's like such a hassle and on top of that like trying to control the ai like you don't know what the hell to do but i really like how like the ai is so far like you actually see them like hopping over things but they still need a lot of work for sure what the f what happened to you well, i've definitely had issues where the characters have fallen through the ground so i can see this happening Ah, come on doggy with me oh i almost forgot to mention that uh this game is also going for kind of like a door kickers type of vibe and here's what i mean if you press caps lock you can actually go from like a top down view and you could click on one of the characters that say terrio here and you could tell them what to do where to go get behind cover crouch i'm never really good at these types of games where you can like plan out stuff and like that uh if you actually go back to my freaking door kickers video i was just like winging it but you could completely like plan out this stuff here but i'm just not good at it to be honest like I, i'm more into like just doing it myself but i'm sure any Anybody who plays a lot of like door kickers is probably good at this type of stuff but i think they definitely need to fix the freaking ai make them more aware of their surroundings and the gameplay in general because the gameplay is just it's not that great it really isn't so we already talked about the squad basically like a big customization thing which i think is really cool we already talked about the training you just walk in there and just shoot around and stuff there's nothing really to do in there like they could beef it up with a lot more stuff but uh, the tutorial is just a bunch of like you know read it Oh, they actually have videos now? Maybe that's what they added in that was like 13 gigabytes long. Yeah, I don't remember these videos being here. That's kind of cool. But let's actually get into the game here. So let's go new mission. The only one that we're able to do right now is Spec Ops. Uh, the map. I tried Allegiance Airport and to be honest, it's freaking okay. But the problem is that there's just way too much like open areas to walk into. And you just get shot from across the map. Because the AI is such a goddamn dead eye. Granted, they won't kill you right away. Well, usually. But you'll get hit and you'll be like, where the hell did they shoot me from? We got Malinwood Villa. We'll try that one out. This is my first time actually doing it. Let's do mission. I believe these are the only ones that are available for it though. So I think my biggest issue is might as well add them all. Screw it. This right here. I don't know what the hell this this means. Oh, you get more XP if you turn a lot of this stuff off, I guess. I'm not sure what XP does. No warning. No teammate. No way out. Presence of enemies. Could edit this stuff. This is like really overwhelming to be honest. Squad. All right, let's begin a mission, huh? I'm not really sure what the hell this is supposed to be. It's like a HQ or something. This has got to be like the loudest footsteps I've ever heard. Like nobody's, everybody's just dead silent. Cinematic work in progress. Well, this is a relatively small map. Okay, so there's so much bullshit we need to do. Okay, um, so my issue that I have with this game so far is that they literally have spots where they just put you out in the open, and that's not what I want to do. So, so this is the operator that I'm going to be controlling here. I guess I'll have her spawn over there. 
All right, so my fear is that these guys are going to get gunned down the moment that they freaking spawn in. That would really suck. But who knows? Maybe all the bad guys are inside the house. I'm not sure. Okay. So now I need to pick where to spawn, and I guess I'll spawn with these guys just to see what, see what happens. AI is not very smart. Um, sometimes they'll kill enemies, and sometimes they won't. It's a little, like, insertion video. Wow, that is some of the greenest-looking grass I've ever seen. Out in the wilderness. Does see my character at all? No, this just looks like a bunch of freaking Elmer Hoods over here. Wow, that looks like a very, like, Gmod type of house. We're just right here, huh? Smack us right in here. Alright, I'm just dead. Okay, I'm dead. What an insertion. Literally just came in and shot the shit out of us. Um, shoot him, guys. Guys, shoot him. Guys. Oh, don't fall through the floor. Please. Please. Okay. Dude, look, they just stand there. I'm not into Oh, fuck, the entire team is all fucked over there. <laughs> Felicia's still alive, it looks like. Oh, no, she's... I'm Felicia, apparently. My gun is still sideways. I still don't have any ammo. Yeah, this game... Oh, my God! What the frack? What the frack? Oh my god, this, this system of walking is kind of dumb. Rescue hostage failed. Well, that was fast. Look at all these dead friendlies. What the... What happened? Okay. Mission successful? Like, I lost half my... Oh, he's dead. Oh, they all dead. I literally lost half my freaking squad, and this is successful? God, this just looks like a freaking bot store acid house. This doesn't even look like the right dimensions. Uh, okay. This gameplay is pretty fucking rough, dude. Like, I don't... They want to release this sometime in January? Like, I don't think so. Yeah, this kind of hurts my eyes, not gonna lie. Recovered data. Was this the hostage? I don't know. Okay, so this is kind of dumb, because they literally pop us right here where they can freaking see us. We should be behind that wall over there when we come in. So the fucking control sometimes can be a little... A little atrocious. Just a little. At least a lot of this stuff is working the way that it's supposed to. Like, I wasn't expecting a lot of this stuff to actually work. Okay, well, we failed to get the hostage, but I mean, got everything else, so, uh, mission accomplished? End of the mission. Debriefing in progress. Global score... 36%. The dog was freaking useless. Like, he didn't do a damn thing. I don't even know why we took him. It doesn't make any freaking sense. How did he get off the helicopter? What's this? Oh, it actually... Oh, fuck. It actually shows us all the people that died. The only ones that survived. That's actually kind of cool. And that was Black One Blood Brothers. Overall, like, it's... It's a really cool concept, but honestly, they need like another two years in the oven to freaking make this game worth something because the gameplay to me is just really bad. So the gameplay definitely needs like a full on overhaul. The first person animations were pretty rough or non-existent. They really need to address that. AI could definitely be OP. You could get shot and not even realize where the hell you're getting shot from. Friendly AI is as dumb as rocks. Most of the time, they're just standing there. Maybe once in a while, they'll actually shoot someone and kill them, but it was pretty 
freaking rare. That map that we looked at right there kind of looked like a freaking Gmod map. Like it didn't even look like the map that they made. They just kind of maybe got it from the asset store and just plugged it in and it's not fully finished just yet. I mean the placement of us in like the middle of the freaking courtyard right there where they could just see us and shoot at us the moment that we spawn in. That's like a really dumb spot for us to be. Like we should be behind the fences that are you know taller than us. Like they just need to rework these maps from every map that I played with them. They just need to really fix them up because not only do they need to look better but they also need to play better because this game definitely has like a really cool concept but it just needs a lot more time and for it to come out in january of 2022 that's not enough time what do they mean by release do they mean like into early access or do they actually mean like a full-on release because if it's a full-on release then i definitely don't recommend this game if it goes into early access then i could be like eh, what's the price price is right maybe maybe i'll invest into its future but the gameplay just needs a lot more time but tell me what you think so i'm gonna end the video right here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like black one blood brothers then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or become a member any donation helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content like this or any update that i post and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye